I'd like to demonstrate for you the effect of increasing numbers of carbon on the combustion of alcohols. So I have three alcohols here with increasing number of carbons. I have methanol, a one carbon alcohol, ethanol, a two carbon alcohol, and isopropanol, a three carbon alcohol. We're going to combust all three of these and observe the similarities and differences upon their combustion. In each container, I've placed a cut piece of a Mr. Clean Magic Erase, uh, uh, Magic Eraser. And that's going to soak up the alcohol and then we'll be able to burn them more easily. So first I'm going to test ethanol, excuse me, methanol, the one carbon alcohol. I'm going to go ahead and remove the piece of sponge, recap the lid, and I'm going to move, remove the alcohols from the burning area. We'll light this on fire. And what you note is primarily a blue flame. And that blue flame is indicative of complete combustion. That means that the ethanol is being completely converted, converted chemically into carbon dioxide and water. You might notice a few flecks of orange and yellow. Uh, those are regions of the flame where the methanol is being incompletely combusted. And in that case, there's some soot formation. And when soot gets hot, it incandesces or glows an orange-yellow color. But mostly, what we see here is a blue flame indicative of complete combustion of, of the methanol. Now to sort of show that no soot's being formed, I can take a clean test tube and place it in the flame. And I run that back and forth. I can actually see some condensation of product water on the test tube originally. Now it's sort of burnt off. I don't know if you can see that in the, uh, in the film. Well, sometimes I can blow that out, but oftentimes we have to just stick it in a, a beaker of water. But if you look at the test tube, you will not see any soot. That's evidence of complete combustion. Now we're going to test our second alcohol, ethanol. So we'll get this out. And we'll burn the ethanol. And in this case, we notice quite a bit more yellow-orange color. So we see that the uh, ethanol is undergoing some incomplete combustion. But if you look down near the bottom of the flame, right around the sponge, you'll notice that the flame is blue. So at the bottom, originally, when the, when the uh, fuel is first burning, it's, it's burning completely. Uh, but as the flame rises, it actually uh, gets a little oxygen deficient, and it's a little more difficult for the fuel to uh, combust completely. Once again, we can do the test tube test to look for the formation of soot. And... What we recognize is that even though the flame was quite yellow, uh, there's not much evidence of soot formation. So even though we saw evidence of soot formation in the, in the burning of the, of the ethanol, there's not enough soot being produced to uh, form a lot of residue on this test tube that was placed in the flame. Now we're going to test the third alcohol, isopropanol. And one might hypothesize that because the methanol, a one carbon alcohol, completely combusted, the two carbon alcohol, ethanol, showed some signs of both complete combustion and incomplete combustion. One might surmise that the isopropanol, which is three carbons long, will follow this trend and we should see a lot more incomplete combustion rather than complete combustion with the isopropanol. Let's run the combustion reaction and find out. All right. What you notice with the isopropanol is a very bright orange-yellow flame. 
that is indicative of incomplete combustion. Very little blue in the flame. So there's not much complete combustion going on. I'm going to take this test tube here and run it through the flame. And almost immediately, you can see the formation of some sooty residue on the, on the test tube. So in summary, what you basically see as you go from a one to two to a three carbon alcohol is that the lower the number of carbons in the alcohol, the more completely it combusts. And the greater the number of carbons in the alcohol, the more incompletely it tends to combust. The two carbon alcohol, ethanol, showed signs of both complete and incomplete combustion.